Hello everyone, my name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. When I'm working with teams, I often want to be able to look at two things at once. For example, I want to see a list of all the channels in my team and maybe I want to see a chat that I'm involved in or maybe I want to see three things at once. I want to see a list of channels, I want to see the chat and I want to see an application that I'm working with. Well, we can do that. We can now pop out applications and chats so that I can have multiple team windows open all at the same time. This is another great way to make teams even more productive and make my work even more efficient. Let's go have a look. As Teams becomes more valuable to us and as we begin to use it more, you'll find that the interface here becomes a very valuable portal into the, what you're doing for the day. So you want to be able to see your channels, you want to be able to see your teams. Now one of the challenges is, if I have an application, let's say I have this Yammer Communities application, when I click on it, it opens the application within the Teams interface, but it also gets rid of the interface that was there before. So if I want to see all my channels, I have to go back to Teams, I can see my channels, so on and so forth. Well, whenever I take an application, I can go in, let's take for example this Shifts application, I can right click and I can pin that application onto my menu here so I can see that application. Um, let's say help, I can right click, I can pin that in. So you can see I can pin the applications here and that's really handy. So I can go in and grab the help. But once again, it takes over the Teams interface. What I can do instead, let's go back to this interface where I have my channels visible. I wanna keep this interface in play. What I can do is if I right click on tasks, notice that I have a pop out app. Now instead of taking over the Teams interface, it'll create a new window for that app. So it will allow me to float that app in its own window and I can start working with it while still maintaining visibility on all of my team channels. Let's go and do the same thing with the help. Instead of clicking it open, I'll pop it out. So now I've got my help popped out. So I've got my help popped out and I've got my my planner, my tasks popped out. So I can easily switch between three different Teams applications and environments by using the pop out. And when I'm done, I can just close them down. This can also be applied to something like a chat. So if I have a chat, let's say I have this chat with Diana, if I hit the ellipse here, you can pop out that chat. And I've demonstrated this in some other videos here. I'll just say here, we'll close that down. I can, I've can. i demonstrated in some other videos how I can use this in teaching to have multiple chats all popped out. So I can pop out multiple chats and then stack up these chats in order to determine who I'm chatting with at any given time. That's very handy. I'll go back to this interface and I'll actually collapse both of those pop outs. Now, <clears throat> one caution that I will give you is let's take this uh, wiki app that I have here. If I right click, that is not poppable. So you can't pop out that particular app. Yammer I can pop out, tasks I can pop out, shifts I can pop out, help I can pop out. If I hit the ellipse here and you go to the different applications like the Who application, notice you can't pop that one out. If I go to, well, I'll come back here, Steam, uh, Stream, I can, um, I can pop out Stream. So you'll have to go on an app by app basis in order to determine which ones you can and cannot pop out. I hope that was useful. Pop out those chats, pop out those apps and have a look at how much it makes your workflow that much more efficient. As always, subscribe and comment and like and do all those great YouTube things, share with colleagues. And if you want to see some more videos on the channel, here they are.